Shalom. Kahala Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rahakwadash. Double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, teaching in truth, sincerity, and diligence for the sake of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Lord, when this lesson may be edifying and straight to the point. All right? The, the Lord is against this God forsaken kingdom of America, man. You see, in which this is a society that was pretty much built and established off of iniquity, man. You see, a, a, this place is centered uh, around iniquity. Iniquity pretty much drives this place, you know. And the people here in America that made this place they dwelling, they pretty much work out the wicked imagination of the elites. You see, because the elites, they wanted a society of God-forsaken people, people who don't acknowledge the ways of the scriptures. You know, they go after their own lusts and fleshly desires. That's the society that these elites wanted. They pleased with homosexuals, masculine men, uh, uh, masculine women, effeminate men, queers, pedophiles. They, they okay with this society being the way it's ran, man. You no, know? because these are the thoughts of their wicked imaginations on display. You see? And the Lord is against you God forsaken as Americans, man. You see, seeing that you don't acknowledge or even consider the ways of the scriptures, man. You don't consider or acknowledge the God of the Bible. So he's just going to show your ass that he's alive and well, man. You know, by way of judgment, you see, because ultimately, by you forsaking the ways of the scriptures, you uh, you pretty much opening yourself up for judgment, man. You see, because now you operate under the spirit of pride. And that's a heavy uh, vibration that's pushed out here in America, man. That pride of life. You see, real quick. It's the book of um, Ecclesiasticus. All right, chapter 10. Yep, yeah, chapter 10 and verse 12. He said, the beginning of pride is when one departed from the Most High and his heart is turned away from his maker. Yeah, your heart going into your mind. It's turned away from your maker. You see, in which these Americans, they don't know the ways of the Lord, man. Because the, the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai was pretty much abolished here in America. And they try to drown the Lord out with these different philosophies and doctrines of life, different religions and spiritual practices and shit. Hey, but Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai going to show forth, man. He's the, the Alpha and Omega, man. You know, hey, the Lord is in pretty much, he's in everything. He's going to show forth. You see, so you can't quench the power of the Lord. You know, but the beginning of your pride is your pride is solely driven off you departing from your maker, man. You departed from the ways of the Lord. Now you don't believe he exists. You see, you rather acknowledge the Hindu God or you rather acknowledge Buddha or Allah before you acknowledge the God of the Bible, man. And that's solely because of the so-called white man building the society the way it is. But, you know. Verse 13, he said, for pride is the beginning of sin. You see? Your pride was the beginning of your iniquity, man. And he that hath it should pour out abominations. Yeah, you see? Because you can't tell a prideful nigga nothing. So because you driven off, off of pride, it's only fin for you to pour out abominable works, abom abominable acts, man. You know? He's saying, therefore, the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly and rich. That's the entity that follows behind pride, man. Pride go before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. You see, and pride and haughtiness is a heavy spirit that's pushed out here in America. And that's why this society is on a decline, man. The Lord is in the business of overthrowing proudful kingdoms, man, and killing proudful people. Look at your celebrities, man. All these entertainers and rappers and movie stars dying off. It's, hey, the Lord, he in the business of overthrowing the proud, man. You know, it pleased the Lord to overthrow proudful people and proudful kingdoms, man. You see? He said, therefore, the Lord brought upon them strange calamities. And you see the strange calamities that's constantly striking America. You know, and overthrew them utterly. And that's what it's going to boil down to, this place being overthrown. You see, because the Lord is displeased with this God forsaken ass uh, kingdom, man. You God forsaken ass people, man. You see, in which the people here in America, they boldly, so like they boldly speak against the God of the Bible, man. You know, present the scriptures to a nigga in America. He'll tell you, oh, yeah, that's an ancient old text, brother. That doesn't apply to this society. That doesn't apply to this lifetime. That was written 2,000 years ago. You know, nigga, present to you signs, man. 
You see? But, hey, the Lord is going to cast, look, verse 14, the Lord has cast down the throne of proud princes and set up the meek and that steed. Yeah, the meek is those who pretty much acknowledge how about Shema was shot. Those who acknowledge the scriptures. You see, and try to perform the thoughts of the Lord rather than perform the thoughts of these fucking elites. You are homosexual. You are a feminine, emotional nigga, a gangster. You on the block and shit, you know. Hey, those are the imaginations of the elites, man. The elites wanted you to be a nigga, man. So what they do, they set up fucking influencers and entertainers and all this shit. The the uh showcase that the showcase that spirit pretty much. They influence you to walk after that light. You know? The so called white man wanted you to be a for A D elites. You see? Cause you say the so called white man, they thinking you talking about your next door neighbor or some shit. No, it's throwing with the elites, man. Those who pretty much control this society. You know? They wanted you to be a hoe. That's why they put Megan Thee Stallion out there. Sukiana or uh, uh, fucking city girls and shit. They want you to walk after that vibration. You see? Verse 15 said, The Lord have plucked up the roots of proud nations. Yeah, this is a proud nation. This nation don't seek after the Lord. That's what makes you proudful, man. Because what, what the fuck make you think you got it figured out? You don't even know how your heart operates. You know, you don't know what you don't know all the organs and the bones in your body. You don't know how the brain operate. You see, so what the fuck make you think that you can control your path and your walking life? Then you gotta go to sleep. It's two in the morning, you knocked out. I can walk in and do you like kill you. You vulnerable. But you feel as if you got this life figured out, man. You know, that's pride. You see? But uh he said the Lord had plucked up the roots of proud nations. And planted the lowly in their place. Yep. He said the Lord overthrew countries overthrew countries of the heathen and destroyed them to the foundation of the earth. And that's what's gonna take place in America, man. This place is gonna be destroyed to the foundation of the earth to the point where there's not even a memorial of this place. You see, verse 17, he took some of them away and destroyed them and have made them memorial to cease from the earth, and that's what's gonna take place. Had America saying that this place had forsaken the ways of the Lord and built a society contrary to the ways of the scriptures. This place is driven off of pride, man. Pride is all over America. So the Lord is going to combat that pride with misery, destruction. You see? Real quick. This Psalms 14 and verse 1, he said, The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Yeah, who is that fool, man? Esau Edom, the so-called white man, starting with these elites. You see, they have said in their heart, there's no God, which their heart goes back to the word lob, which means your mind. You see, and that's the vibration that's heavily pushed out here in America where there is no God. You see, YOLO, you only live once, free will, do as thou wilt. Big Bang Theory. You see, these are fucking doctrines that's out there, you know. Those are indictments that's out there against the so-called white man professing that there is no God, man. You see, they are corrupt. Yep, you see, and this is a corrupt society full of corrupt people. They have done abominable works, and America has done abominable works throughout the four corners of the earth, let alone these Americans doing abominable works throughout the four corners of this land. You see, he said, there is none that doeth good. You see, the Lord looking down from heaven upon the children of men, to see if there were any that did understand and seek the most high. In which this nation is not a nation that seek the Lord, man. Again, this is a God forsaken nation. That's why the Lord is going to show his fucking power here, man. You know, only the only the hopeful elect is trying to seek out the understanding and the wisdom of the Lord. You see, verse 3, they are all going aside. They are all together become filthy yep you become you became a profane human being under the vibration of america seeing that you like the abominable foods seafood boils you know you operate under the whoredom spirit under a murderous spirit you are you became filthy profane you lawful to be trying down man you see because you operate under the american vibration you see he said there is none that do it good no not one have all the workers of iniquity no knowledge? Yeah, have you motherfuckers no knowledge? Do you not know that there's a power that's beholding your works? 
But these people here don't care. They under the vibration of there is no God. You see? He said, who eat up my people as they eat bread and call and call not upon the Lord. There were they in great fear for the most high is in the generation of the righteous. Yeah, you see in that generation of the righteous is back in the earth today teaching his word, man. And the people are in great fear because they hearing their judgments and now they seeing it. They hearing that America is going to be destroyed and now they seeing this place declining, man. You see, these people are in great fear. He said, you have shamed the counsel of the poor. Yeah, they try to come up against the counsel of the poor. You try to put this thing to shame. Oh, y'all got on dresses. Oh, that's an ancient old text. You believe in that white man book because the Lord is there, because the Lord is his refuge. Yeah, they try to make fun of us because we made the Lord our refuge. But they going to they going to soon find out when the judgments descend upon America that you don't have a refuge now. You ain't got shit. Your money gone, your house gone, your car gone, your job gone, and you ain't gonna have shit. Then it's then it's gonna make sense, man. You know, he said, "Oh, that the salvation of Israel will come out of Zion." Yeah, the salvation of Israel will come out of Zion. Yeah, how was shy? You see, when the Lord bring it back the captivity of His people, Jacob shall rejoice and Israel shall be glad. Storm with the elect, man. You see, because. When this thing wasn't popular, when it wasn't popular to be an Israelite, we was out there teaching. When, when it wasn't popular to be a teacher, we was out there teaching. When iniquity was at its height still and everything was still flourishing, we was out there teaching, man. So we're going to be glad when we actually see the things that we've been teaching manifest in the earth, man. You know? But if you of that flock of america you stuck in america the law gonna destroy you man you know the law when he was edified to the next video so shalom